Let's learn how to use stewards in business glossary as part of your information governance strategy. Sometimes referred to as a data steward, this is a person in your organization with expertise in a subject area for which they have professional responsibility. Even the simple summary definition of a glossary term such as these must be precise, up-to-date, and trustworthy. The enterprise expects to rely on BG, and the steward's job is to help meet that expectation. Towards the beginning of our glossary initiative, we officially designate people as stewards in BG so that they can be assigned to terms and other information assets. To be eligible, our stewards will need to be known users in Information Server, which provides some of Business Glossary's infrastructure. In the Administration tab of the Information Server web console, let's find the Users and Groups Management pages. Note that an individual user or group can be the steward of an asset. BG exposes steward profile details like job title and contact information, so it's important to flesh out this information. We should take special care to ensure that the steward has an email address, which is used in BG to contact the steward for feedback and other purposes. Also, we grant users access to different parts of Information Server in the Suite Components section we see in the middle of the page. When we finish setting up our users, we can begin hiring them as stewards. In the Manage Stewards page, we click into the selector widget, start typing the user's name or username, and then pick from the list of suggestions. We'll assemble a small team of stewards and then get to work assigning them to our information assets. Let's begin with the simple case of assigning a steward to a single asset. We'll be using terms in our examples, but almost any asset you can find in BG can be put under the protective wing of a steward. In the edit mode of our chosen asset, we find the steward property. We use the type to find widget to locate the steward and then pick him from the suggestion list. Once we save, we can take a look at this relationship from the other end. Just as I can see an asset's designated steward, so too I can see a steward's managed assets. Let's also make note of the useful information about the steward that we're showing to our users. This is the payoff for the work we did earlier when we fleshed out the user profile. It frequently makes sense to give one steward responsibility for all the terms in a BG category, or any set of terms that has something in common, like their collective use in a project, or relevance to a line of business. We can do this quickly and easily via batch editing. We begin by filtering our term list down to the subset we want, in this case all those with the parent category Customer Lifetime Value Analysis. We select them all and click the Edit button, which launches the batch editor. We find the steward property, click Next, and then just as before, type to find the steward and pick from the suggestion list. When we finish, our list refreshes to reveal a very busy Thorsten Ravenhunter as the man responsible for these terms. If we look at Thorsten's profile, we'll see that same information from his perspective. Just as we can view the asset to steward relationship from both directions, we can also make that relationship from both directions. Now, Thorsten is one of our best stewards. Let's give him some more responsibility by going into edit mode, selecting the type of asset I want him to manage, and again, typing its name to find it. When we're done, we save. Now, when a user looks at the forecast acquisition cost term, she'll see Thorsten as the steward. And it's Thorsten that she'll contact with feedback, requests for clarification, or information about potential impact on this term from changes elsewhere in BG or the information server at large. Every asset dossier in BG has a feedback button that can be used to collaborate with the glossary team. The email template that BG provides is also addressed to the Glossary Administrator as a backup in case we need to send feedback on an asset that hasn't yet been assigned a steward.